hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show how to crochet this beautiful and easy earrings so keep watching for the pattern i will be using embroidery thread three strands 0.5 mm crochet hook earring hook jump ring scissor plier and glue so these are the things required if you're going to start with the third layer start with a magic ring Chain 1, we are going to make 6 single crochet in the ring. We have completed 6 single crochet, close the magic ring and make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. First row is done. For the second row we are going to chain 1. Make two single crochet in the same stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. For this row, we are going to make two single crochet in each stitch all around. So I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. So I've completed my row. We'll have a total of 12 single crochet. We're going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So second row is done. For the next row, we're going to chain one, make one single crochet in the same stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern all around. I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. So I have completed my row. In the end, we'll have a total of 18 single crochet stitches. We're going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So our third row is completed. For the next row, we're going to chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. So this is our first pattern. Chain 5 for the next pattern. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern all around. I'll just go ahead and complete my row and see you guys after a couple of seconds. So I have completed my row. We're going to make a slip stitch in the next stitch. We're going to fasten off the thread and weave the ends. We have completed our third layer. For the second layer, I am using red color yarn. We are going to start with a magic ring. Chain 1, make 6 single crochet in the ring.
We have completed 6 single crochet, close the magic ring and make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So our first row is done. We're going to start with the next row, chain 1. For this row, we are going to make 2 single crochet in each stitch all around. In the end, we'll have a total of 12 single crochet stitches. So I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. So I have completed my row. We have 12 single crochet stitches. And now we are going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. Second row is completed. Now we are going to make the petals. Chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern all around. I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. As you can see, I have completed my row. We are going to make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Fasten off the thread and weave the ends. Second layer is completed. For the first layer, I'll be using white color yarn. We're going to start with a magic ring. Chain 1. In this ring, we need to make 6 single crochet. So I've completed 6 single crochet, close the magic ring and make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. So our first row is done. We're going to make petals for the first row, chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern all around. I'll just go ahead and complete my row. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. This is my last chain 5. Make a slip stitch in the next stitch. So our first layer is done. We are going to fasten off the thread and weave the ends. First layer is completed. We are going to make the center of the flower. We are going to start with the magic ring. Chain 1, make 6 single crochet in the ring.
we have completed six single crochet we're going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch first row is completed for the next row we are going to chain one and we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch all around For the next row, we will have 6 single crochet stitches. So this is the last single crochet stitch. Make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. Fasten off the thread and weave the ends. So center part is done. We have completed all the parts. We are going to assemble the earrings together. So our beautiful flower is completed and this one is for the earrings. I'm going to attach earring hook with the help of jump ring to complete the earrings. So our beautiful earring is completed. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching.